So what does selfishness look like in a marriage that you might not think is selfishness? Like might, might be easy to miss. Anytime that you don't communicate why your feelings and why your needs are going to need to take precedent in the relationship. Anytime that happens and you're not able to communicate why to your spouse, mm. I think that could be a hidden sign of selfishness in the relationship. Does that make sense? That, okay, so what I think you're saying, and I think I understand it, is if you have just kind of assumed that what you need and what you want is more important right now than your spouse is, but you can't explain to them why, mm -hmm. and you're just kind of like, mine's more important and yours yeah. will have to wait. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really know how to define that anymore. Yeah. I just think that's an awareness metric, that, right. like you're saying, that we can just raise our awareness in times where we are demanding something from our spouse. Yeah. Greater, greater service, greater love, greater care, greater whatever it is, and we're not communicating with them to why this is necessary at this time in our relationship. I think that's really good, actually, because a lot of times it is easy to just assume that what you think or what you want is, like, most important. Sure. And so if you catch yourself doing that, you can then realize, oh, wait, like, I never even asked him if that was okay, or I didn't ask my spouse what they thought about this, or I didn't ask them about what they needed. Do they need me home on this day, or whatever it is? When you, when you go straight to assuming that your needs and wants come first, that probably actually goes into every part of your marriage without and, you realizing it. And it's completely natural it's, for you to think that yeah. way, and a lot of people that are married do think that way. Because that's how and, you thought before you got married. That's and <laughs> sometimes their marriage relationships are functional in that thinking. Mm -hmm. But it's not optimal. Yeah. It still is a sign of selfishness because, and I could be wrong about your relationship, but most likely you are not that motivated to think about the times that your spouse needs more care, more mm. service, more mm -hmm. respect, more just right. attention to the details of their lives. Right. It mostly is communicated when you need it. Right. With very little thought to the inverse. Yeah, that's good. And so, how do you think that that will affect your marriage in the long term? Resentment. I think the yeah. spouse will just come to resent you. When they get honest with themselves on why I'm not receiving the same level of care and respect and service yeah. that you are right and and what do you think um, because because i'm sorry no go ahead. for a while you can exist off of that based on their love for you right like they're like well i love her so or i love him so i will give yeah and i will give yeah and i will give because i love them so right. i will give you know and mm -hmm. it, you can exist for a very long yes. time on that but then there will get to a point There's where a that limit. person is really in need yeah. And it's not reciprocated and they go, oh, I just got played. Yeah. And 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 maybe that was not your intention. Right. But that's how they're going to receive yes. that. Yes. Because they've been giving so much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. How do you become aware if you are that person? Are there little things that, I mean, I guess we just said it. If you notice yourself, right? Always just assuming that your needs are more important. Yeah, that's how you notice it. Honestly, hopefully someone listens to this podcast or a clip or <laughs> That's short. the only way you'll, you'll no, like a little No, flag. no, I mean, honestly, if you're going through life with some semblance of humility where you are trying to get better in right. your life, right? maybe you'll hear this and it will trigger a thought in your head right. that, do I do this? Like that will come up in your mind and you will investigate that and come to the conclusion, yes or no. Yes. And most for most of us, it's probably a yes, but how much does that happen is like right. the question. No, that's that's good. <laughs> that's good because it, it is something that we all do. Yeah. We all have needs in our life. We all have times in our life where we need more of something. Yes. But yeah, how much is it reciprocated often? And like I said, though, don't let that get into the, well, he gives me this, I have to give him that game. Because right. I hear that a lot in marriages, too. And I'm like, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. No, you just give because that's your spouse. Yes. And hopefully they're doing the same. <laughs> and hopefully they're doing the same. And if they're not, it just needs to be addressed, not in a, well, I gave you. 
Yeah. It needs to be addressed in, do you love me? Yeah. Like, that's... Oof. <laughs> I, yeah. And that seems harsher, but it actually is way more loving. Yeah. Yeah. Way more loving. Because you're not playing, like, the 50-50 game. No. Yeah. No that's compromises good. in marriage. Just negotiation. That's good. That's good.